So congrats, seven years of scandal. It's really it's crazy. amazing. It's and crazy. I think now it's sort of easy to forget what a big deal it was to be an African-American female lead on a network television show. It hadn't happened in a long time when we started. It had been almost 40 years since there had been a black woman leading a TV show. That's crazy. Yeah, crazy. And I know there's progress still to be made, but I really think that started a trend of seeing now more Now there's and more. tons of shows with black it's female great. leads. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and also, you know, and also Indian American leads. Yeah. There's Southeast Asian and Asian and Latin and all kinds of people leading shows, which is true because all kinds of people live lives. So they yeah, should it's lead good. Shows. There's a lot of stories uh, yeah. to tell about those yeah, lives. That's right. Uh, the other thing that I feel started with scandal, or at least I became aware of, is you guys really connected with your fans online. Yeah. A, a really the had live an intense tweeting. live tweeting mm -hmm. uh, connection with your fans. Will you miss that? I think so. I think when people ask me, like, oh, what are the things you'll miss about playing her? It's a little hard because I don't, it's a little bit like asking me what it's going to be like to break up with somebody I'm still in love with. Yeah, right? right. Like, I really still love the show and we're still having a great time. But I am, I'm going to miss that community. Like, every Thursday night, the live tweeting, we're like in it together, experiencing these crazy twists and turns. You watched it together. We this did, is, you watched as a the cast. premiere. Mm -hmm. And this is just a nice photo of the cast, but I do have a, a question about what, <laughs> what glasses are you wearing? <laughs> They're strange googly eye glasses. Uh huh. Because why not? Yeah. Yeah. You and those glasses is a bigger twist than anything I've ever seen on Scandal. <laughs> I think Halloween is coming up. Uh, yeah. So, right yeah there. You know. <laughs> and uh, that was those are my eyes at the end. It's a big oh, the ending of the episode makes. See, that's what you should have said. Result. You shouldn't have said those yeah. aren't glasses. That's what I saw at the twist. I was like, Meh. what? Um, and that's uh, kind of how I felt, really. You, you. I've heard you take a memento from every part you play. I do. So, do you know what you're taking? Um, well, I can't tell you on national television because then when the Prada bags are missing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh wait, now that doesn't seem like a memento. That seems like you're just stealing a purse. <laughs> but it's, it's not one purse. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> It's like yeah, 20 no, purses this, in various yeah. colors no, to this match every outfit. I thought it was going to be my lucky coffee mug, but this is just no. theft. Yeah. No, no, no. They mean a lot to me, these bags. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Seven years of memories in every single beautiful bag. Yeah. <laughs> It was a very well-dressed character. You had a she, really she's good... She's still living, by the way. Not was. She is a very well-dressed character. I'm so sorry. And she's still carrying Prada bags <laughs> for 18 more episodes. Uh, that's true. I'm, yeah. I apologize. I did not mean to, to rush ahead. Okay, I, let's live in the moment and enjoy yes. the fact that this is now a time where it's legal for you to have those bags. <laughs> um, and that time will come to an end. I'm saying this as your lawyer. Okay. Um, you uh, that you put this up on social media. You what? were you had very good seats at a boys to men concert. I did. This look at is that. look, look at, at that. how good. I did not zoom in. That's yeah. where I was sitting. Yeah, that's great. It was amazing. How was the show? It was phenomenal. They had roses, obviously, when they sang "Bended Knee." For all of the older folks here, oh, wow. You know, "Bended Knee" is like a romantic song, and I got a rose. I was that, hoping I would get a rose. Wow, how many yeah. roses do they have? They had like 70, okay. but I was excited to get one. <laughs> so is it, no, how does it, is, does one of them hand out a rose while the other guys are refilling their roses? Well, they, um, you know, they riff. So the guy who's singing is the guy who hands the rose, which means like you get notes sung at you while wow. you're getting the rose. It's really extraordinary. I have a shameful thing about Boys to Men in uh -oh. my past. Why, well, do I want to know? Well, I don't know. Tell me if I should be feel shame about it. Okay. So it shame. was, uh, yeah, exactly. Shame, yeah. Uh, and then we will get to Game of Thrones because okay, I know good. we share a love of that. All right, so I was uh, yeah. my class treasurer in high school, okay? Oh. And I had to count the votes for oh. uh, what the prom song was. And uh, what it should have been was it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday and I, I faked the vote for something else. You were like the Russian hacker of I the hacked. music at your prom? Yeah. Yeah. That's horrifying. And instead, it was just a spoken word Donald Trump album. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. I've always felt bad. What was the song that you chose instead? A Van Morrison song? It's awful. Yeah. Talk about white privilege. Honestly. Yeah. Honestly. You should have these guys on your show I as know. reparation. Yeah, you're right. I should, and then I'll, I'll introduce them and say, and now here to sing a boys to men, and then they'll just walk out and protest. <laughs> and they'll be like, why don't you get Van no, Morrison? They will take a bended knee. Yeah. They will take a bended knee. I owe them all roses. I owe them all roses.